There was a station November something? Uh, this is M3 at UVB, November 3, Hotel Quebec Bravo. Bill and Hagerstan now at the Okay, uh, your audio is kind of, um, uh, well, unprocessed. Uh, yeah, come up on mic just a little bit. Let me see where it goes. I don't think I can get much closer. This is an old KWM2 running through an expert 2 k uh, well, you just did. <laughs> you came up about 10 dB from where you were. Uh, this is uh, KC9VKV. The name here is Jim. Roger. Oh, okay, Jim. Nice to meet you. Yeah, I've got plenty of headroom in here. Uh, 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 only driving it with about uh, 15 or 20 watts. So uh, I'm not going to play too much with my game. Just hooked up to the top of that. I think that was great. Oh, that's pretty good. So, uh, And I think the uh, bandwidth of the uh, race is about 2.1. So I wonder if I'm on frequency uh, or it's not how close I am. It's going to be out of your thing. But uh, I think it's going to be a good idea. Thank you. Well, you're, you're on frequency, but I, I'll tell you, uh, your audio did drop 10 dB if you pulled off mic or something. Uh, if you have an ALC indicator, like a meter, I would, uh, I would uh, grab a hold of my mic volume control uh, in the ALC position uh, so you can see the meter and I would bring the mic volume control up to where the ALC reading is mid-scale. Uh, I think you would be a lot better that way otherwise you're I think you're you're under modulated so uh, you put yourself in the ALC mode and then uh, use your mic gain bring it up to about mid-scale. Roger. Station, stand by. Oh, I'll give it a little bit more and watch it here. Hello, 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 hello. That's uh, about a kilowatt. Roger, Roger. Well, it's um, it's more from the standpoint of um, you know you may be hitting 100 percent peak. Average peak is the thing, though. So if you bring your a your ALC to mid scale, that will help your average peak modulation, and uh, you should not have a problem with uh, with you know with your your amplifier. It's, uh, your words will hang more uh, with about uh, a three dB dynamic range versus a, a totally unprocessed signal. So again, if you look at your ALC, bring your mic gain up. To uh, mid scale on your ALC, uh, you'll be in a real good situation. Oh, if I do that, I'll be running about three kilowatts. No, I don't think so. That you, gosh, <laughs> that's beautiful right there. Uh, it's amazing. Uh, you're really good. Oh, good. Yeah, I'm just kind of getting the uh, getting the hang of this uh, this old technology combined with the new. So anyway, uh, been enjoying uh, sitting here in the shack. Uh, doing some projects and uh, reading the mail. Uh, interesting uh, Friday afternoon, 73 on 3 HPV. Oh, roger that. Yeah, uh, the ALC doesn't lie, and it is your friend. And uh, if you run that ALC at about mid-scale, um, you know, things will really sound a lot better because you're, you know, you well, anyway, <laughs> uh, I, if you would like to hear your audio, uh, if you go to YouTube, uh, we'll post in the next couple of days this QSO. And uh, if you go to YouTube uh, and do a call letter search for Kilo Charlie 9, Victor Kilo Victor, that'll take you to our QSO Vlog page. And on that page, there'll be a session called uh, My Group Air Check 111618. My group air check 11, 16, 18, and uh, you will be towards the end of uh, that uh, that session. It will uh, probably be about an hour and a half long. Roger, Roger. Yeah, sounds good. Maybe I should explain the uh, there is no power level uh, control on these old rigs. Uh, you, you, you tune it up, and uh, you control the output by the uh, mic gain level. So, uh, as I say. I've got the mic gain level at about 4, and I'm running about 1.3 kilowatts. If I crank that up to where you say, I don't know what it would be. 73, and I'll check the report on the HPV Roger, Roger. Uh, <laughs> I understand what you're saying, but... Uh,
uh, you, you listen to your audio and you'll realize that your dynamic range is you know totally unprocessed and that your average peak modulation is probably like about 10 percent I mean it's really down so whatever you have to do to run your radio in mid-scale ALC and keep your your um, RF output uh, from the power amplifier within where you want it to do uh, that's what you what you need to do but you need to uh, I think you need to run uh, your average peak modulation up there where you, at least you're getting 65 to 70 percent average peak modulation uh, three set away and you have a good uh, happy Thanksgiving